Hello everybody, Grim Chorizo here and welcome to Ringside Predictions. This month is Extreme Rules. So I'm going to give you my predictions for this Sunday's pay-per-view. Pre-show match, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd defending the WWE Tag Team titles against The New Day. Not sure what members it will be, but that is the match. First of all, I want to say this is getting annoying that the Tag Team titles have been on the pre-show for the second pay-per-view in a row. These are the championships. They should mean something, you know what I mean? Put something else on the pre-show and put the tag titles on the main show. It's just annoying. It's basically saying tag titles fucking suck. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to say Cesaro and Kid retain. <clears throat> the New Day have been extremely interesting and entertaining now that they're turning heel. Well, they've really turned heel. It's actually interesting because we're getting Cesaro and Kid who are heels and the New Day who are now heels. So we're getting a heel-on-heel -heel matchup and uh, it looks like Kid and Cesaro will play the face in this role, but I think they're going to retain. Then we have Nikki Bella defending the Divas title against Naomi. It was originally supposed to be Paige, but due to her injuries, Naomi's taking her place. I think Naomi is going to win this one. Uh, she just turned, and they need to capitalize on this. You could actually do a double turn. Turn Nikki and Brie, I guess, face, and Naomi... It's not really a double turn, because Nikki already... Or Naomi already turned, but you know what I'm saying? Naomi's the heel. Nikki's coming in as a heel. Well, by the end of it, you'll have sympathy for her because Naomi's just being so vicious and kind of like Del Rio and Ziggler from a few years ago. But I think Naomi's going to win this title, and we're going to see Paige and Naomi at the next pay-per-view. Then we have Luke Harper versus Dean Ambrose in a Chicago street fight. This match should be fucking awesome. I imagine this match is going to start the show other than the pre-show. Uh, these are two guys who you know are going to do extreme shit. We've seen it in the past. And I think this is the time Dean Ambrose is finally going to get a pay-per-view victory. He hasn't got one since the Shield broke up. I know I keep saying this every time, but it's true. And I think this is finally going to be where Dean Ambrose gets a uh, victory. And it's going to be a hell of a match. Sheamus versus Dolph Ziggler. This match sounds awesome. Then you put on the stipulation. Kiss me arse match. So the loser of this match is going to have to uh, kiss the other one's arse. Yeah, Sheamus is going to win this one uh, because he just developed this new badass heel character and he made the match. He just, he's on the rise, you know what I mean? He just came back. He's got the new developed character. Dolph Ziggler is going to be kissing some Irish arse. The Intercontinental title match is Daniel Bryan defending against Bad News Barrett. However, Bryan hasn't wrestled this past week and was pulled from the European tour and live events. So it makes you wonder, will he be able to compete? They haven't said he will or won't, he's still advertised. So I'm going to say if Brian can compete, he'll retain the title against Barrett, but it won't be a long match. But if he can't wrestle, I'm, sh I'm almost positive this will be the replacement match. Bad News Barrett versus Neville. And what they should do with that is make it a number one contenders match for when Brian is better. Uh, if that is the case, I'm going to say that Neville wins that one. But I think Brian will be there, and I think he's going to retain. Roman Reigns versus The Big Show in a last man standing match. This has got to be the weakest match on the card, in my opinion. It's so obvious that they were going to do a last man standing match. Because it's a way to make Roman Reigns look strong. So there's my prediction. Roman Reigns wins. Roman's getting to the point where he's as boring to me as Big Show. So you're throwing Big Show and Roman Reigns in one match, and then it has to be a match where they have to keep him down for 10, 10 seconds, or 10 count, and you know it's going to be at least like 20 minutes? Fuck, that sounds terrible. Who knows? Maybe they'll surprise me. But Reigns will win. United States champion John Cena is defending against Rusev in a Russian chain match, which is basically just a, you know, strap match or a bull rope match. The stuff where you got to... <clears throat> touch all the corners, the four corners, in, uh, you know, consecutively, but you have a chain tied to your neck, and they have a chain tied to their neck, so you're like, Ugh. it's kind of awkward, actually, but it's odd because this seemingly will be the end of the Cena and Rusev feud, because I think John Cena will retain, and I have no idea where Rusev goes after this, but I gotta say, I'm really enjoying Cena as the U.S. champ. His open challenges are exciting, and I... I can't believe I'm saying this, but I kind of hope he retains. And I hope Rusev can move on to bigger and better things. And then the main event, Seth Rollins, the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion, who does not do the curb stomp anymore, against Randy Orton, the man who cannot use the RKO in this match. It's a steel cage match where the RKO cannot be used. 
Uh, Seth Rollins will retain the title, but uh, I think Randy's going to use an RKO, and it'll be a disqualification in an no disqualification match. That's my prediction. Seth Rollins retains because of a disqualification in a steel cage match, which doesn't make sense, but that's my prediction. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for this pay-per-view. The card looks good. Some matches stand out more than others, but I think it's going to be exciting. So yeah, those are my predictions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next month for Payback. See you later, guys.